Hi my loves, welcome back to another Tuesday, another week, another video. Today it is time for a react. Oh yeah. I don't know why I started the video that way. I hope you're well. Uh, 2020 is coming to an end and I thought there was nothing more appropriate to react to than expectations versus reality because by God has this year been a hot mess. A hot mess like much of the reality clips I'm sure we're gonna see today. So thought we'd have a laugh and just see what TikTok has to offer in encapsulating the essence of 2020's reality. I'm looking forward to this one, I gotta say. Let's have a quick look. What I thought I ordered. Oh, I love these so much. That looks like a very pretty rug to be fair. I think that looks wonderful. Is that the upside down? Oh. Oh, they must have had that next to such a tiny bed before. <laughs> oh my gosh. What was that, like a doll bed? Yeah, we've all been through that. Once I ordered these trainers that looked like, um, actually I thought they were, I ordered them on the assumption that they were these Adidas trainers that I really wanted. Big, black, chunky things. Paid 50 quid from an online site that I didn't check reviews for. It's my first time. And uh, yeah, when they arrived, they were like basically blocks of Velcro. They looked so bad. Instead of being like these cool Adidas shoes, they were um, the shoes that I would expect my grandpa to wear on the Zimmer frame. <laughs> get a refund. It was very sad. I feel your pain. Ah, oh, expectation coming downstairs in the morning. Wow. Reality. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. This, this, this reality. This is my spirit animal. That right there. I think that encapsulates 2020. I've been living in the same joggers for the past, what, four months? <laughs> very rarely wash my hair. If it wasn't for making videos, I'd be that mess all the time. All the time, babes. All the time. Hmm. Oh, that looks like a good burger. Wait a second. Hang on. That second burger looked like a McDonald's burger. It still looked pretty damn good. <laughs> Maybe I just have low food standards, but I would be pretty happy with that reality. <laughs> oh, see what 2020's done to me. Other girls with Paul. Oh, I can't tell me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I can relate. That is literally what I do, but probably for different reasons than this person. Uh, whenever I go to hot countries and sit by the pool to sunbathe, I don't like going extra brown. I'm very happy with the colour of my skin. I didn't used to be. I used to hate being brown, and so the thought of being even more brown uh, was a terrifying thought. I'm very happy with my colour now. I, I love myself, I love my skin. I just don't like baking. Like, I, I don't burn when I tan, I bake. I just go a darker shade of brown very quickly. My rings go all funny. You know, I have like funny colours there and my swimsuit is like a different, like shades of brown. I'm my fifth shades of brown. So I put a t-shirt over my face and I wear a towel looking like ET, much like this one. So yeah, do what you need to do. <laughs> that is my reality. Expectations. Oh, what is that? Why does that look so cool? Who are you? Oh, was it a net? Oh dear. Oh dear, they fell. That's a net? That's amazing! Wow. Yeah, that was a, that was a fail from the second guy. But I think you just need to get yourself a Dennis Menace net. I would probably look a lot better. I maybe try not falling off the rock. <laughs> oh dear. Is it only me? I, I'm gonna confess something. This is gonna sound so bad. The thing that makes me laugh uncontrollably. I can't help it. I, I know I'm a bad person. Is seeing little kids get hurt. Not horribly. <laughs> There's like a thing on fail compilations. And if you see like ultimate kids fails that are funny, not when they like really hurt themselves, but like when their tongue gets stuck on the ice poles or like when you throw a ball to them and they don't catch it and it just goes and they like fall over. It's so funny. There's this one that always makes me laugh. And it's this little kid who's like on a pole at a, a climbing frame situation. And he's like, uh. <laughs> like he's just, he's just having a wonderful time in life. And he grabs this pole and he tries to slide down it, but he just kind of falls. And at the end he's like, eh. <laughs> it always makes me laugh. Whenever I'm in a bad mood, I'll put on that fail compilation video. Oh, kids are great. Okay, what next? Me imagining when I'm 25 married with kids. Oh dear. Oh, reality at 25. 
<laughs> I think that's a much better deal at the age of 25. I'd rather three big fluffy babies that I could cuddle like that than baby babies and kids and bills and mortgages and tuition fees. Oh god. I know that's coming in our future. And whilst I'm very excited to have kids, I'm also very happy to have my lions right now. Like, that can wait. <laughs> that can wait. Golden Retriever expectations. Oh, okay. Nate would love this. Versus reality. Oh! No, they're all so cute and majestic. All of those looked wonderfully majestic. How dare, how dare you suggest the Golden Retrievers were not as beautiful as the photo one. Pets can be adorably stupid though. I know Polo tries to like style out his bad things and his realities. I, ju I just think that's cooler than if he got it right the first time. He'll like pretend that he didn't mean to jump into the bath of water and walk away like a ragged rat going like, ah, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> You do you, Polo. You do you, Golden Retriever. You look cool. Expectate. Oh no, don't hurt yourself. Oh, the next person's gonna hurt themselves really bad. I can just feel it. Oh no. Oh no. See, like, that kind of thing is not funny. I don't like that one. Oh no. I hope you're okay. Oh, don't try that at home. What people think I'm doing as a professional hula hooper. Sorry, can I just say, like, how hot this person is? I've learned something today. That was incredible. Can we, can we just watch that again? I don't think I could even do what she's doing in the expectations one. Oh, holy crap. Bye people problems. I don't know whether I would like to be her or if I'm just insanely attracted to her. Probably a bit of both. Wow. Okay, so, oh, summer 2020 expectations versus reality. Oh my god, holiday so bad. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that's 2020, all right. Boop. This right now, we probably would have just come back from our honeymoon and be announcing a really cool thing, all of which has been postponed to next year, maybe. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Rhoda. Oh, thank you. I've also seen some people do some really funny ones where they like sit by their washing machine because the washing machine looks like an airplane window as if they're like going on holiday, but oh well. <laughs> what I thought I ordered. Another rug one. Oh, that looks like a good rug though. Oh yeah, yeah. So that was the back of, of the previous one. Oh, oh no. Oh dear. I mean, to be fair, maybe if you opened it up, it would, it wouldn't, would it? It wouldn't be so soft and fluffy and large. Well, you tried. Hopefully you can get a refund, babe. All right, next. Oh, skill. Oh, skill. Oh, don't hurt yourself. Oh, she hurt herself. God damn. <laughs> I'm going to try that though, off camera, but I will try that. <laughs> that looks fun. I'm going to do it one day when I'm in bed, just with Jamie, like, you ready for bed, babe? And then just be like, what? <laughs> just stand there like. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, wow. You're gonna try it, it's gonna splash all over because I've done that. I've tried putting a spoon under, not to make a funny pattern, just because I'm trying to, I don't know, wash the spoon. It's like, <laughs> okay, well, your reality was better than my reality. Your reality is my expectation. So there you go. Maybe there's a lesson to be learned there in relativity. <laughs> How'd you get a spoon to not splash all the way on you? Seriously, if I did that, it would be all over my face. <laughs> All over my clothes. First date expectations versus reality. Okay. All right. Yep. Yep. I'm definitely the person on the right hand side. <laughs> Can I just say though, not first date, like this is me before every single meeting. Just realizing I have like two minutes to get ready and oh goodness. Oh no. Okay. I don't fall over like that, but But yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Loving the Robert Downey Jr. Oh, sweetheart, just like grab yourself, grab yourself a takeaway and put on some Netflix, stroke your cat and just realize that you don't need someone who's not gonna show up for you, or who's not gonna like appreciate you looking a hot mess because that's what we look like 90% of the time. And if people can't embrace that, then they are not worthy of your presence, okay?
<laughs> okay. <gasps> oh, you're melting my heart. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. I was gonna say I don't understand why these dog ones do these expectations versus reality because reality is just as cute. <laughs> that was a scary little doggo. <laughs> no, 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 no. That was very scary indeed. Sound on this one. That is really cool. Wow. reality of me doing it would be much worse. Don't worry, little banana head. Alrighty, let's do one more. What are you? What are you? Oh, wow. That was very impressive. Yeah, yeah, that would be me. <laughs> that would be me. I mean, I think that was supposed to be a fail. Yeah, it was, but that would still be me. What a beautiful way to encapsulate the experience that 2020 has been. Nearly nailed it. Nailed it. Oh, 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 oh well. Maybe next year. <laughs> Maybe next year. I hope this has brought some light entertainment to your day. I hope you too can sort of just laugh at the crappiness of the reality of 2020 versus the expectations that I'm sure we all had. But you know what? The year end is coming and things are gonna get better. They have to, they will, as long as we all stick together and be friends and be lovely and be positive. All right, my lovelies, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and maybe if you, you would like to see more videos, yeah. I will catch you next week, Tuesdays, 7 p.m. Be kind and have a great day. Bye.